Management of pancreatic cystic lesions is dependent on malignancy risk, which is determined by the cytologic or histologic diagnosis of the cyst type or subtype. Current methods to make a diagnosis of cyst type or subtype include cytologic evaluation of cyst fluid obtained from EUSFNA. However, the cytologic yield in fluid samples is generally low. Recently, fine needle imaging modalities to non-invasively image the cyst wall have been developed but show fair results. Biopsy of the cyst wall would lead to better diagnostic results, but performing this biopsy with current FNA methods is not feasible or safe. A new EUS guided through the needle forceps technique has been introduced. This employs a miniaturized biopsy forceps with an outer sheath diameter of 0.8 millimeters, and this can pass through the bore of a 19 gauge FNA needle. A through the needle forceps biopsy technique has the potential to increase diagnostic yield over traditional EUS FNA. Device setup. We prefer to preload the forcep device into the FNA needle. The stylet is removed from the FNA needle. The forcep is removed from the packaging and then loaded into the FNA needle as shown. The following is a case demonstration of a cyst wall biopsy. Here you can see a 1.5 by 2 centimeter unilocular cyst with what appears to be some debris within the cyst. First, the cyst is punctured with the preloaded 19 gauge FNA needle. The forcep is then slowly advanced out of the needle tip under EUS visualization. Once seen out of the needle, the forcep is opened. The forcep is then retracted so that it is hubbed to the tip of the needle. Using the needle's handle, the needle end forceps is then advanced into the cyst wall and the forcep is closed. The needle is retracted back first and then the forcep. Tenting should be observed and a tactile bite should be appreciated. Case 2, cyst septum biopsy. This is a 2 by 1.5 centimeter septated cyst. FNA puncture has already been performed. The forcep is advanced out of the needle and forcep opened. Once again the forcep is hubbed to the needle tip and then both needle and forcep are advanced into the septum. The forcep is closed, needle is retracted back first and then forcep Tenting is observed, and a palpable bite is felt. The forcep is reintroduced into the cyst, and the same procedure is carried out for an additional two bites. The tissue bites are often adequate for histologic evaluation. Here is an example of a histological specimen from a gastric subtype IPMN. Here is a histologic specimen from a serous cyst adenoma, and here is a histological specimen from a cystic neuroendocrine tumor. For IPMNs, the tissue sample is often adequate for mucin staining for subtyping. Some technical tips include preloading the forcep into the needle before puncture, advancing the forcep slowly out of the needle under EUS for safety, open the forceps and hub to the needle tip and then advance the needle into the wall. Look for tenting and feel for the palpable tissue bite. Achieving three to four tissue bites is ideal. We performed a retrospective review of 15 cases performed at our institution. Technical success was obtained in 13 out of 15 cases. Adverse events including one case of intracystic bleeding after needle puncture. There were no episodes of post-procedure pancreatitis. Diagnostic success defined as making a cytologic or histologic diagnosis was made in 73% of the cases with through the needle forcep biopsy. This compared to 0% with cytologic or biochemical analysis of cis fluid. Seven of the eight IPMNs in the series were able to be subtype based on histology and mucin stain. In conclusion, EUS through the needle forcep biopsy technique of pancreatic cystic lesions appears to be safe and can be performed with high technical success. This technique should be considered in the diagnostic algorithm for patients with pancreatic cystic lesions.